We're going to put on a batch of uh, our strawberry fig reduction today. In our kettle over here, we've got about 240 litres of balsamic vinegar from Modena. And we use a, a six-year aged balsamic is what we start with. And then I've got, uh, I've got about 50 pounds of uh, strawberries. When in season, we try to use local, so the Pemberton, uh, Pemberton strawberries. Balsamico traditionale uh, originates in Modena, which is in Reggio Emilia in Italy, and they'll age it uh, in different types of wooden casks for uh, up to up to a hundred years, some of them. Things are done a little quicker here. Tell us about the process and how it works. Well, what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to cheat the aging process because when they make traditional balsamic vinegar, they'll age it in wooden casks and the casks do have a hole cut into them. So what happens over time is you get natural evaporation. What we try to do is speed up that process because I don't have 25 years to make it. So we'll actually use um, an evaporation, uh, evaporate it mechanically, so with, with heat in our large uh, steam kettle. A reduction is a concentration of flavor, so typically you'll see a reduction used uh, as a finishing sauce, but also to add another uh, complex uh, concentrated flavor dimension um, to the plate. So what I want to know is what do we do with this balsamic reduction once it's done? Well, uh, reductions can be used and are mo most often used as finishing sauces, so finishing off protein, seafood, grilled vegetables. Here what I'm doing is I'm going to prepare a little bruschetta snack for you and what we're going to do is we're actually going to finish it off with a bit of the classic reduction. So once it comes out of the oven, just a little drizzle of the reduction on there and that adds another fl complex flavor dimension to the basil and the garlic and the fresh tomatoes that, uh, that are already in there. I've been working on a couple of new flavors that will launch this year at the uh, Whistler Farmers Market, one being a raspberry peppercorn uh, reduction. We're also uh, this summer going to be opening our kitchen when we do production. Um, to, uh, to the general public and uh, in here we're going to be featuring not, uh, not just our regular line of reductions but I do a lot of research and development where we make small batch and uh, I'm like the mad scientist testing different products. Um, we've done uh, a chipotle mango, I've done a chocolate espresso reduction. So what, what, what you're actually going to see on the shelf is going to be a mystery to everyone even including me until I actually make them. This looks incredible. Now careful, it's hot. All right. Mm.